Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and in today's episode, um, I'm going to answer another question that, uh, that, that has come across in some of my uh, um, uh, mails. Um, and then people were asking me, well, you got a whole bunch of this cool stuff or these cool collectible things. How did you know that this stuff was available so that, that you can get it? And, uh, and and order it or have it right like you like you know the half of the battle is you don't even know what any of the stuff is or whether it's coming out how did you know or what do you use to find out um, how to order this stuff okay so I'm gonna address that question uh, today with basically um, some of the uh, I'm basically giving out some of the uh, the ways on how we used to uh, you know find out or find advertisements for the things. Uh, that were that are coming out from Japan because again we're talking like you know pre nineteen ninety five year so you know you know you know the the best that you could do was like Windows ninety five and again you know there is no internet because I mean half the time people are you know still using you know those free AOL dial up discs you know, to try to get onto the internet at this time so there's not you know you can't just go and Google it and and find out and there's no big websites like amazon.co.jp or something um, that you can just you know, go and order uh, stuff with so how do you know well you know uh, well first of all you know the, the, the uh, easiest way and I'll, I'll, let's go over uh, like uh, you know two main examples right now and then I'll get into the you know sort of the uh, the offshoot versions later on okay uh, but in this episode I'm going to cover uh, two of the main ways that, that people um, at this time we're going to find out about um, you know things that come out or things that are worthwhile or you know let's say you're you know, trying to fan some a series you know how do you get all the episodes or even are even all the episodes even out for some of the stuff that you want to do okay and if they are how do you get it okay so the number one thing that I've already you know, mentioned in the previous episode is you, you got to get one of these animation magazines okay so um, the example I'm going to use here is, is, is your standard Animedia magazine okay so there's there's a couple at this time that came out okay yeah uh, and media is uh, is one is one of them. Uh, New type magazine is obviously another. Uh, at this time, there's also other smaller ones like Anime V, Animage. Okay, um, there's also Megami that finally you know, came out a little later on. These are all magazines which will help you, uh, you know, t uh, find out what new stuff came out in Japan. Okay, now. Uh, these magazines, of course, are, you know, they, they have lots and lots of, you know, ads and stuff in them, okay? So, for example, like right here um, on the front page, um, you know, they'll tell you, oh, coming out is the year under S uh, second season, tells you the dates coming out, that kind of stuff. So, again, if you're a fan of year under S, you know, okay, yeah, so that, uh, you know, I, I see that they are, they, they're just releasing this uh, year under S thing. Uh, let's go and, uh, and order it. So, so, usually, they'll give you all the ordering information, and uh, you know the price and all other stuff. The company manufactures it. So if you take it to one of these, uh, you know, Japanese bookstores like you know Kinikinua, we had uh, you know um, Sophia's bookstore. We had also a Wase bookstore in Richmond. Uh, they're, they're all located here in uh, Vancouver. So you know we uh, was able to you know take that information, give it to them, and say, hey, you know, here's a photocopy or whatever of the, the ad or whatever. Um, you know that basically contains all the information they need to find out who makes it, the price, and then they can use their uh, sources to, to order it and get it in for you, okay? If not, then you, know, uh, you still have the information, you might be able to get it mail ordered in from a whole bunch of different places, okay? Again, uh, at this, you know, I'll, I'll do an episode more about how we did mail order and, and some of these you know, places uh, that existed uh, you know, in the States um, that, uh, that, that did ordering that, of this kind of stuff but I'll do that in another episode, okay? So, um, so yeah, the use of these magazines were very important, okay? So, not, so that, that gives you all the sort of stuff that's coming out, um, you know, in this particular month. So, so again, this is the uh, August of 2001 issue of Andy Media. So this will tell you all the things that are coming out relatively recently, okay? But if you flip into the middle of, of, of this magazine, okay, um, they have... What we refer to as the you know the, you know, the anime um, catalog here uh, in the middle. Okay, this contains all the uh, you know all, all the information about uh, what's happening on TV, what episodes are coming out on TV, 
um, you know, uh, what stations you know, are, are doing different things uh, and whatnot. Okay, so you know, wh you know what stations are airing what and uh, and that kind of information like that. Okay, but um, also later on, they also have this information, which is basically all the laser discs and and and, and, the, and the VHS you know, chess tapes and that because that that would be coming out uh, uh, from the actual uh, manufacturers as well. Um, they also have uh, a section for CDs and that kind of stuff as well, so that they'll give you an idea that you know. So if you missed it um, from one of the ads uh, that, that are you know published, you can still maybe catch it um, by reading the, the you know the backlog of, of uh, you know items that, that have come out. Okay, so uh, if you you know get a you know let's say a monthly or bi-monthly subscription or whatever, or you, you go out and you pick out uh, your you know this kind of a magazine from that kind of a store you can at least get an idea um, of what is available, okay? Now, the other main thing, okay, and this is probably the one that, that, that's probably more uh, suited for those people, you know, the, the less casual anime fan, but the more dedicated collector and that kind of stuff, is you can get an actual magazine which is this dedicated towards anime, okay? So you get something like this particular one, okay? This is what they refer to as the uh, the, the this, this is manufactured by New Type, okay? Uh, this is the, uh, the you know the Anime Soft um, catalog, okay? And uh, the neat thing about this one is this like like okay, this one is um, is uh, designed for uh, 1992. So basically, it's designed to to catalog all the video releases up to 1992 from basically you know the beginning of time, I guess, <laughs> anime time. Um, and uh, basically, yeah, and, and the list over 3,304 different titles of anime uh, in this catalog, okay? So I mean, I, I, I bookmarked a few different places uh, in this to just, just to give you an example of what it can, uh, what it has. So I flipped to the first one here, and it's, uh, you know, it's a whole section of City Hunter, okay? So for example, when I was order, uh, when I was doing the subtitle for City Hunter, I wanted to make sure I, you know, I didn't miss any laser discs because I want to get to all of them. This, basically, this catalog here will show you all the different titles and laser discs for uh, City Hunter, right? So, you know, so, so if you you know, uh, for example, I, uh, I did in the previous episode, um, one of the laser discs got damaged was one of my City Hunter ones, right? And uh, City Hunter, uh, the series, is one of those ones where they put random episodes on, on, on a laser disc. They called it good something, and then basically they, you know, they, they released it in different volumes. So now you can go through a catalog like this, and you can find out that, oh, okay, yeah, volume 10 is called Good City, volume 11 is called Good King, volume 12 is Good Stories, oh, volume 13 is Good Expert, good, uh, volume 14 is called Good Hammer, uh, Good Ladies is number uh, 15, Good 16 is called Good Remains, okay? And then you can, then it goes on to, you know, uh, uh, C under three, volume one, it's called XYZ, and you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? But the neat thing about this is, again, it will tell you uh, what the laser disc number is. If, it, if it's on tape, it'll tell you what the tape number is. It'll give you the yen price. Okay, I'm gonna flip to another uh, page on the, in this book, just, to, just for example. All right, so I flip up to the page that has Macross, and uh, another one of my favorite series, uh, Dan Cougar, okay? So again, it, it uh, tells you basically that uh, you, you can get uh, Macross Volume Seven, for example. And uh, this this particular version is the is the video cassette version. So it's a hundred uh, minutes on video cassette, and it costs twelve thousand eight hundred yen. So again, using the uh, one yen to one U.S. penny, it, that uh, what I got to one hundred and twenty eight dollars U.S. for a video cassette of Macross. Uh, it has uh, volume seven. It'll have a hundred minutes worth of, uh, of, of of video content, which is about four episodes uh, on that. So you can imagine, you know, some of the stuff is really, really expensive. Okay, and so you know, again, flipping on to the other side of the page, there's another favorite, one of my favorite series that we that we subtitled, uh, which is Dan Cougar. And again, it lists out uh, Vancouver uh, or Dan Cougar, the TV series. Um, uh, you know, volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, and etc. Like that. And um, again. Uh, video cassette version, and it gives you the, the, the code number for a video cassette, and it's uh, uh, nine thousand eight hundred yen, so about ninety eight dollars US each for the video cassette of Vancouver. Okay, 
So that gives you an idea. Again, it's not cheap for these uh, laser discs and, the, and whatnot for uh, Japanese animation, okay? I'll just do one more example. Um, so here I'll flip over to another random page here. And uh, one of the favorite animators that, that we have worked on and, and uh, did the, uh, the fan subs for is Five Star Stories. Again, you know, it was really heavily promoted by New Type magazine, so that's uh, that's why it's always there. But again, I flip over there, and you can see that it's got a laser disc, 65 minutes. Here's the code number. Uh, so if you want to order it, uh, that's the code number for it. It has the yen price, which is 8,900 yen, about 89 dollars US, for about a 65 minute movie. But again, it's one of the very uh, few movies that are, that are still out there, which no one's really released yet. Um, yet, it's, 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 it's uh, you know it's hard to find it on the internet because of the fact that the you know the the, the commercial people who, who, who still own the rights for that Toys Press um, uh, has uh, basically you know trying to you know they're trying to quash and try to hold their holdings of that particular uh, that particular show. But again, yeah, we fans up that uh, back in the day as, as it's still a very um, you know, very popular series and really well animated movie. Okay, um, but yeah, so uh, I just wanted to just, just to say that yeah, again, um, for those people who are you know again really heavily into the collecting and, and into, into animation at that time and um, and you know trying to you know do fan something like we were, uh, you know, this kind of a book is is absolutely indispensable because that way. You know, you know, in order to get all the episodes, you know, if we thought of a series, I would say, hey, you know, I want to do Dan Cougar. Okay, sure. You know, let's flip through the book here and we find, yep, okay, here's all the order information for all the episodes of Dan Cougar. Let's order them all in and, um, and get that done. And then uh, there we go. And then now uh, we can fan sub it and then make it available uh, to, to, to everyone out there. And again, you know. I you know we'll, I'll get into the story and how we did Dan Cougar and, and how everything sort of unraveled uh, with that in a future episode and we'll talk more about Macross and that kind of stuff uh, and again another future episode but in this episode I just want to concentrate on on basically uh, two of the main ways on how you know uh, or how you would get to know um, what is available and what is cool that just came out and what and what's new uh, and then once you know that, then you can then take the appropriate steps to, to, to go and order it and, and whatnot, okay? So these are, the, these are two of those sort of main things that I use to get all my videos and that kind of stuff, um, you, know, you know, back in the day. And of course, nowadays, of course, you know, it, it, you, know you have like the, the internet, you have Google to help you search and find different things and whatnot. Now, um, again, there are still holes um, in, the, in the system, okay, because like I said, uh, I did an episode just recently about the, the King of Fighters, okay, and how that there is a, a hole in the, you know, shall we say, the history of uh, King of Fighters. And again, uh, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fill that in. I'm gonna bring in some collectible merchandise that you know you're not going to easily find and piece together or, you know, by using the internet and trying to type in King of Fighters. You're not gonna get that. So. You know, it's it pays to have a little bit of knowledge about how these things go, and having catalogs to help you chart this out. Because as I said, there are ways and, 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 and little, I should say, little holes that where things can fall through the gaps, and 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 you won't be able to find them that easily. Uh, and we'll get into some of those um, in a future episode. Okay, so. What you want to do right now is you want to go down there. You want to click like. You want to click uh, subscribe. Okay. So that when I get those episodes, uh, which I you know do more details on, for example, the King of Fighters, and I do more uh, stuff on on uh, you know on a, a feature artist named Andy Sito, and how he's related to how uh, you know the Chinese culture and uh, all his work, uh, like you know as a single person, has brought forth uh, you know this uh, you know love for anime uh, in his own special way. Okay, so. Until next time, see you again.